from the Nuggets game when they lost, and then the Wizards game, the Spurs game, the Bulls games, all of which they lost. So since then, they've won uh, three in a row against crappy teams, the Sixers, Pacers, and Magic. Tomorrow night will be their first game against a good team. Now, I will give you this. I think they're capable of beating the uh, Celtics as well, in a, certainly in this game. And certainly in a playoff, they're capable of beating them. They've, they've proven that. So um, I don't think they've played good basketball the entire month uh, of March. Now you're in April, so they're, they're certainly turning the corner uh, into April playing better. I think tomorrow night is the only game they care about. I mean, everything else has been like those games in, uh, that they lost, all those games that they struggled in, the Clippers game, even the uh, Nuggets game, uh, et cetera, Wizards, Spurs, Bulls. I don't think they cared about those games. They just were like, whatever. But I think this is um, this is the game they care about. I think uh, this game tomorrow night in Boston is what it's all about. It's a, it's a, it's the game of the night. It's a great matchup. And obviously, um, based on the standings, we all know uh, that you know Cleveland and Boston are now tied again. Uh, for the uh, top spot in the Eastern Conference. So this game has a lot riding on it. I, and so, obviously, the Celtics have been playing great ball. They've won 8 of 10. The Cavs are 5 and 5 and 10, but they've won three in a row. So this is it. We're going to find out tomorrow night, basically, uh, you know, who the cream of the crop is. There's not that many games left. I don't think it matters to the Cavaliers one way or another, Ryan, if they're in first or second in the playoffs. Uh, they'll beat the if they were first they'll beat the Pacers and if they're second they're going to beat the Bulls either way so uh, I'm not worried about that and they're not blowing the three and a half game lead either one of them has at this point over Toronto so they're both going to be fine no matter who wins tomorrow.